welcome back to my channel today i'm finally sitting down and doing a makeup look i finally finally wanted to sit down and just play with makeup do something creative um i kind of have a look in mind will it come out good i have no idea but i wanted to do something colorful it's summer actually no it's not summer yet but it feels like summer I have the AC like blasting right now and it's so hard not to have it on because let's be real, us poor people cannot afford to have the AC on all day, every day. It's just so hot. I've been running around all day doing chores, being an adult, laundry. Thought I'd come out here because I have this nice big window right here by the kitchen. So, lots of natural light. I'm gonna get started on the eyes first. I don't even know where to start. I haven't done this in a while. Random, but um, I have this plant. It's real. It's still, it's still alive. And it's grown. And I'm very proud. I've never had like a real live plant like this that I actually gotta take care of. I don't even think I'm taking care of it properly, but it's not dead. So before I do anything, I like to curl my eyelashes first. For eyeshadow primer, I am using my concealer, shape tape. So I'm just going to place this all over the eyes and then blend it all out with a sponge, beauty blender, whatever you have. Using any light shade, I'm just using this one right here, the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Who remembers Lorac? What happened to Lorac? Where did we go? And I am setting my concealer. So I am working with a purple eyeshadow, so I want to take a light matte purple eyeshadow and kind of try to use that as kind of like a transition. Like I said, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. I'm just going. <laughs> I'm taking this plum shade right here from the Lorac palette and just placing this into the crease just to put a light wash of purple um, because the actual purple that I'm using is more of like a like a shimmery kind of purple. So, I don't know, I think this will kind of help blend it better. I don't know. We'll see, I don't know, I really don't know. I might like cut the crease, I haven't decided, maybe. So the purple that I actually want to use in the crease is this one from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Who remembers this palette? Very old. I am using the shade Urban. This one right here. And this is the shade that I actually want in the crease. So let's, I don't know how I'm going to make that work, but I'm going to make it work. And I say FedEx. The bad thing about purple eyeshadows is that it stains your eyelids. I just find that all purple eyeshadows do that to me. Okay, so it's looking like I am going to have to cut my crease because I am getting eyeshadow all right here. I'm trying to blend it into my inner corner. We are going back to that light shade that I used to set my concealer and I'm using that as my highlight shade and to also help blend out these edges right here. Kind of just soften everything up. Okay, now with a flat brush, I'm going to take the concealer and actually clean this up right here in the inner corner because I did get a good amount of purple eyeshadow on there and I so I'm just taking my shape tape again but because I'm still trying to figure out how to do these cut creases I'm not completely the best at it and I'm actually not trying to make this perfect either 
It's just enough to clean some of this purple off because I don't want it there. I literally can't see. When I close this eye, I can't see through this one because I'm in contact. Now I'm going into this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette and this is the Not A Basic Peach palette. That's what it looks like. And I'm taking this one right here and I'm placing this on the lid. If you guys haven't tried these eyeshadows from Wet n Wild, you have to. I have been obsessed with them lately. Kind of just using that shade as a base because I am putting another one on top of it to kind of hopefully make it more dramatic, make it pop a lot more. I'm using the Fenty palette now and I am taking the red one and I'm going to place this right on top of my finger. Now, this is the part where I'm just like, I'm not sure if I should do it or not. I kind of want to do it. So, I want to take a colored liquid eyeliner and put it on top. And it's this one from NYX. It's the Vivid Brights. And what shade is this? Vivid Escape. So, it's this like bright green. And I want to use this as my eyeliner. These eyeliners are cool and all, like the colors, but they're not the best because they crack. And it's a struggle to just make them look good because then they crack and then you gotta like glare more and then they like crack. So it's, yeah, it's a little hard. My skin was a struggle. My foundation just did not want to stick onto my face. So it's kind of blotchy on certain spots. So if you see that, just ignore it. So at the moment, I am struggling deciding if I should even do anything on the lower lash line or if I should just leave it like this. Because I actually kind of like how it looks just like this. And maybe just add some mascara on the lashes. It kind of, it, it makes me look like a doll. That's why I just want to leave this plain. It looks like, like Barbie makeup almost. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in Karina, so it's a bright pink lipstick. I think maybe this might work. Hmm. This still looks a little off. Or you can just do a nude lip like this. I actually think I like this a little better. This looks way better. So if you guys like this makeup look, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Add me on Instagram. That's honestly all that I really have that I am active on. I don't even use Snapchat anymore. I only use Snapchat for the filters and then I post them on my Instagram stories. <laughs> So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That just sounds so lame that I only have Instagram. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and follow me. And let's see what I come up with next time. I feel like my creative juices flowing. I have like this, I have the bug now. Like I want to come back and make more beauty videos. So let's see, let's see what I do next. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.